Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, we have made a detailed video on HIMARS. Ukraine and US both have been boasting about the MLRS as it has changed the course of war. While it may not to that extent, but Ukraine seems to be winning psychological warfare as it brings Russian troops in the radius of 70 km within its range and US promising to send more of HIMARS. But what makes HIMARS truly lethal is different types of rockets being used. They are high precision and range. It can fire dirt cheap, unguided and guided rockets to a range of 150 km. It can fire tactical missiles like ATACMS, a series of 610mm surface-to-surface missile with a range of up to 300 km and in future PRSM or precision strike missiles which is a new series of GPS guided missile with a range varying from 60 to 499 kilometers and each rocket pods containing two such missiles. Very similar to HIMARS, I would not say technically but functionally, China has also developed MLRS which can fire rockets with variety of ranges. While the 16th core commander level talks was in progress between India and PLA Army, after a gap of almost 4 months, China was testing its 500 km range rocket near the Indian border. PLA had put the precision strike capability of its new rocket launch system to the test at high altitude with a maximum range of 310 miles or nearly 500 km and the video for the same was released by Chinese media and as per footage, we could see that rocket has hit its target with pinpoint accuracy. However, the range at which rocket was fired was not clear. From the recent development in Russia-Ukraine conflict, the role of rockets has become increasingly important, especially when the war prolongs for longer duration. For short conflicts, the tactical ballistic missile and cruise missiles can be used quite effectively. But when the war prolongs, the stockpile of these costly weapons reduces and becomes unsustainable financially. This is where the dirt cheap rockets play a vital role. To neutralize them, one needs iron dome like air defense system. However, the modern MLRS with their massive rate of fire can even saturate them. With this, you can understand how important it is to have good number of MLRS with higher range. Now, China has deployed its most advanced long-range rocket launcher near LSE. One of the Chinese artillery brigades is stationed 5,200 meters above the sea level in Xinjiang military district. As per few reports, PLA is operating some of these MLRs near to India's northern border close to Hotan air bases, having a distance of 350 km from Ladakh. The PLA Army is using its long-range MLRs to fill the void in their air force capabilities. This kind of posturing is often called deterrence by punishment. The rocket system we are talking about is PHL-16. The PHL-16 or type PCL-191 is a truck-mounted, self-propelled multiple rocket launcher system. The PHL-16 is based on large 8x8 chassis. AR-3 is an export version of PHL-16 which surprisingly showcased earlier than the PHL-16. AR-3 was first revealed in 2011 while PHL-16 came in service with Chinese Army around 2016. The PHL-16 has two modularized launch cells which can carry different types of ammunition or rockets. The PHL-16 and AR-3 are long-range artillery rockets that uses a solid propellant and follow a ballistic arc. Each launch cell can carry either 5 300mm rockets or 4 370mm rockets. The system is capable of firing 8 370mm rockets at a distance of over 350km or two 750mm Fire Dragon 480 tactical ballistic missile each capable of flying up to 500km. AR-3 can also fire TL-7B anti-ship missiles. The longer range rockets have a smaller warhead to reduce overall weight and increase the fuel. The GPS guidance allows this rocket to achieve a circular error probability of under 30 meters at maximum range. Time between coming to halt and firing is 5 minutes. Once rockets are launched, the launcher vehicle can leave its firing position within a minute. 
brief redeployment time allows to avoid counter battery fire. Reloading is carried out by a transloader fitted with a large crane and takes about 20 minutes. Besides PHL-16, China also operates PHL-03 rocket system that has 12 tubes for 300mm rockets. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.